The governor held a press conference today to speak on school safety. 22 News reporter Ellen Fleming attended and has more on what Baker had to say. The school year is quickly approaching and after the Uvalde tragedy, safety is on everybody's mind. Today, the administration rolled out their plan to help keep kids safe in schools. Governor Baker was joined by Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito, education officials, as well as public safety officials to discuss the administration's plan to keep Massachusetts schools safe. The mental health of students was top of mind today as students are still struggling with the effects of COVID-19 shutdowns. The governor announced plans to file legislation to invest in school safety plans, including programming, training, and resources. To date, the administration has awarded $15 million in grant funding for security infrastructure and mental health support. The administration will also file a supplemental budget request of nearly $40 million to support these safety initiatives. And no child should fear going to school in the morning or feel uncertainty over how safe their building or their classroom is. The initiatives we're announcing today will certainly help support that mission. Public safety officials stressed their extensive training and when asked about their strategy during an active shooter situation, they responded that they would immediately enter a building under an attack. That roughly $40 million will go to such things as grant funding for security, an anonymous tip line, and ongoing emergency response training. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.